going on? Now listen, listen, listen. I almost called out from work. I really did. But I can't do that. Because one, I need money. And two, y'all ain't gonna let me. But let me tell you why I almost called out from work. So I don't wanna hear nothing today about Tasha. What's wrong with your face? Okay? Yesterday, I got a vampire facial. Y'all know what that is? It's, no, va not vampire facial. It's, yeah, it is a vampire facial. It is. Microneedling. Okay? And so my face right now is cooking. It's peeling. All of this is burnt. Waiting to shed and come off. It's tight. I can't wear makeup to cover it up, so I don't want to hear Tasha got herotism and she growing a beard. Stop! I am here going through the motions of what it's like of being an entrepreneur woman, a black woman who can't hide no scars, okay? A mom, a sister, and a friend. So I don't wanna hear nothing. Y'all can get y'all little laughs on the haters, but guess what? Give me about Wednesday. Oh, this face gonna be brand new because the pores are already closed up. Living in Florida, be making my nose, them pores on my nose. They got me out here looking like Miss Netta by the skin, not to die. I said, Lord, not to die you won't. So ma'am, keep her hydrofacials. I keep my, my, my vampire facials, my microneedling. I does my chemical pills. Like I said, Miss Netta don't live nowhere near here. It's y'all ready for fuckery Friday. Full lineup, boy, we got two shows and 40 topics. Jasmine was late because I threw in so much stuff. And if y'all asking, why so many topics? Because I'm getting ready for the stage. Yes, I am. I'm getting ready to come to your city. Tasha K on stage. Tasha K on stage.com. Before I release the cities that we just updated today, and we got four more that we're adding to the tour. Naples, Florida, Fort Myers, where are y'all at? Don't play with me and my money. I ain't worried about Atlanta. I ain't worried about Philadelphia. I ain't worried about Riley, Charlotte. Nowhere but Naples. Y'all better get you and your white friends and come on out and stop playing with me. Bring them white people out there because I know it ain't number white people out there. Y'all better come on now. Stop playing. And tickets is on sale. Let me announce the cities that we just unveiled. Remember, we got two shows today, this show, and then we're gonna head to TashaKLive.com for the second show. We got a family member that's directly related to Chris Stokes. That will only be available on TashaKLive.com, so you will have to subscribe to get that their audio, okay? Let me go ahead and pull up these cities real quick. So we got Naples, Florida. Tasha K on stage.com. Why is the police outside my building? Y'all hear that? Do they hear that? Okay. We got Naples, Florida on March 3rd, Atlanta on March 10th, Indianapolis on April 7th, Baltimore, Maryland on April 14th. Don't worry, the flyer is coming soon. So if you don't see the flyer for Baltimore, we just got the link, which is much more important. Okay, a flyer is not, the link is, okay? We got San Francisco, April 21st. Who we got? Virginia Beach, Virginia for Mother's Day on May 12th. Charlotte, North Carolina, May 26th. Tampa, Florida, June 9th. Philadelphia, June 16th. Who else we got? June 30th, Riley, North Carolina. Orlando, Florida, July 14th, Tulsa, Oklahoma, September 15th, and we got four more cities, and we're going to close it out. I don't want to hear nobody mouth no more about Houston. Houston is going to end our tour. It's going to be the biggest show of the year, okay? Thousands of people. Don't play with us. 
These other cities are smaller, more intimate cities. We can be one-on-one. -on -one. I don't care if it's five of y'all that show up. We'll do a show and we'll go to dinner. I don't care. I'm working, all right? Listen. Now, so y'all make sure y'all go to Tasha K on stage.com. Very simple. Tasha K on stage. I should have said Tasha K ass on stage. That's what I should have named it, but they wouldn't let me have a domain. Tasha K on stage.com. Get your tickets now before they sell out because I cannot add no tickets, okay? I ain't even saving none for family and friends. They have got to come and stand up and watch from backstage because I don't play about y'all. No, I don't, okay? Now, before we get into both shows, okay? Remember, we got a Chris Stokes family member. <laughs> Listen here, Bigfoot. <laughs> you know I got a lot of tea. <laughs> and we will be spilling it on TashaKLive.com tonight. <laughs> right after this show. But before we get started on this show, who we got? Miss Netta, Brad Pitt. Monique versus everybody, okay? You're going to get your feelings hurt tonight about this Monique shit, but you know I don't give a damn, okay? To Raji P, oh, my God, Odell Beckman done hit the whole family, okay? Nick Cannon, also going to be discussing Britney Spears coming for that lady husband. Macy Gray, we got an update on her, and much, much more. All of that and more coming up right after this promotional break. We got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means Bowling Raise a Glass 2 will be right back. And Taddy will be here waiting on y'all ass. And y'all better be hitting that like button. Let's go. I want the night for me and you. So come here, baby, and let me do it to you. So what happened over time was that um, so much rejection. So like for every role that you get, you also get 50 rejections, right? I had a, like a, a tight group of girlfriends, which I'm very proud of. Like my friends from 13 to about say 35 or 36, like we rolled pretty, pretty deep. And um, they started all talking crap about me one night when I was off doing a movie and they said, we just don't get it. Like, how did she make it? Like, she's not even pretty. This is a real conversation that they had. I've been marginalized in this trailer park piece of garbage. And it's like, wow, it's so funny because I've been accepted into Juilliard on a full ride ballet scholarship. I've traveled the world five times. I'm not white trash. Is a, the gold juicy elixir, the atonement, live forever, um, that I could have whatever I wanted. And I said, nothing in my life's come that easy for me. I'm not gonna drink some juice and then suddenly I have everything I've ever wanted. You don't treat people very well all the time on set. You're very cerebral, very different, very hard to like even navigate around. Um, you've been very blessed. Like, what are you doing right now? Are you hiding something? Are you guilty about something? Are you making sure everyone's looking over there so they don't look over here, Terrence? I'll say it to his face, he knows how I feel. I asked him to pay me. I was never paid for that movie. Hustle and flow. All right, winos, if you enjoyed shows like this and would like to see more with me live on stage, then be sure to join me in Naples, Florida, March 3rd at the Off the Hook Comedy Club and March 10th in Atlanta, Georgia at the Uptown Comedy Corner. Tickets on sale right now. Link in the description box as well as in the bio. And don't you worry, I'm bringing the wine and Teddy, damn it, okay? See y'all soon. <laughs> Remind them about my damn skin, okay? I was not infected by Miss Nettle. Don't play with me. Listen, Macy Gray, we, what's going on? Oh, okay, yeah, I forgot to discuss. The, it's really not an open mic, okay? So you guys have to, listen, for our entire tour, whenever we hit each city, we're going to select five people from that city all right, to perform on stage. You gotta be able to make them laugh or sing without a band. It's just gotta be you in the audience. And the winner will be selected by the winos for a cash prize. If you wanna be a part of the talent contest that we're having right before our show starts in each city on the Tasha K on stage tour, you go to TashaKOnStage.com, purchase your tickets, Send me an email, unwindwithtashak at gmail.com, and we'll let you know if you're selected to perform in our city. And if you don't want to perform, all you got is me and Teddy. I'm trying to put a few dollars in y'all pocket, and you playing, okay? 
to tax write-offs. Mason Gray, I knew, I knew, I knew. I knew my I knew my sister wasn't getting her ass whipped by no motherfucker. I just knew it. She came out after she saw the video and she said, <laughs> I don't know where y'all got this from, but a now child putting their damn hands on me. I told y'all, we saw Macy Gray in training day. She looked like just her voice alone. I wouldn't mess with her in the morning, noon, or night. I don't know, nigga, a woman, by the way she talk. Play with Macy Gray like that. Some of them kids don't whooped her, her ass. She said, my son would never, now child would now not, never, not, not, never. Y'all better put some respect on her name. Damn it, she over 50, getting her behind whooped by a damn child. I told her, Macy, call me, I stay ready to kick the child at. Sure do. It's her daughter down here. I think she's trying to get back at her brother. Maybe he may be the favorite, because you know how it is. We you know when these we we women got our boys. We like, girl, who where's your daddy? Oh, I'm sorry. He sucks. We ain't seen him. Oh, well, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, your brother's your daddy. You know how it go. Shout out to Macy Gray, okay? Coming out clearing it up because I knew my, well. No child wasn't whooping her. Not today. Now, Finair L has an announcement for all you white folks too. Okay, y'all know I'm censored over here. Let me make sure I get this here announcement. Okay, let me hold on, hold on, hold on. It's very important. They said that they are going to start as of this year, and they're going to be the first to implement it. I'm right, right? I'm on the right track. Okay, they're going to weigh you and your bags. They're going to weigh the passenger and their bags before you can enter and any of their planes, okay? They say they are tired of having weight balance issues and having to pay people to get on planes because y'all don't know how to close your mouth to food. That go for me, too. Each titty weigh 20 pounds. So I'm going to have to move some stuff over. You know, I travel a lot. There's a lot of times where I get up there, and sometimes I don't make the delta weight, right, as far as my bags. And I got to leave some shit. And I usually leave, like, the products and stuff. But they're going to start leaving y'all asses. Keep playing with them. <laughs> Your bag's going to make it first. <laughs> we'll come back and get you on the next round. Y'all going to be trying to make weight like these fighters out here. You know these fighters got to make weight, drop water weight and shit before they fly. Y'all going to have to do that because I'm telling you, they finna have some weight requirements because they are not finna fly every other seat, okay? They are not finna leave every other seat empty just because you can't leave them bagels alone. I was at Starbucks this morning with a, with a fake biscuit and a, and a fake imitation sausage. I said, this ain't vegan sausage. This is fake. <laughs> There's a difference. <sighs> Moving on. All right. And why folks knew why wine news is TJ and, and Amy Roach are back on the, uh, the wine list. And um, they want us to know that Disney, they found out that Disney has banned them from their parks. Now, they don't know how they got banned from the parks, but they found out via email that they are not allowed to attend their parks. Now, I've never heard of Disney doing that. And if they did do that, they did it to folks who ain't, who ain't allowed around no damn children now. Listen. Now, if there's something else you want to you wanna tell us, you drinking 30 alcohol drinks a day, pissing all day, room smelling like piss, sheets smelling like piss. Ain't no way you're able to filter all that alcohol out in 24 hours. That take a week to get out. So either they can't trust you with alcohol and they cheering, or there's something else you ain't telling us about. Because I'm like, how you just going to get on the open internet and just say that, like, we ain't going to go do no research. Like, I did that research on, what is her name, M.I.A., the rapper? 
It's just, it's, you know what, it's real funny. I catch a lot of slack out here, and that's okay. I'll be the bad guy. Because I tend to go read. Jasmine, no, I read all day. Don't that, Jasmine. All day. Jasmine, you know you remind me of me and you. What, what was uh, Jenga Lang name and uh, 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 Life? And I'll be like, right, Jasmine? Mm-hmm. Show me about Jenga Lang, Jenga Lang. <laughs> That's why I got to get Jasmine a mic. Because <laughs> she be like, mm-hmm, that's right, boss. Listen. <laughs> what the hell was I going to say? <laughs> I forgot. Yes. So I did So I did my research on MIA. I don't have her picture here. Put them down. We don't even need them no more. They kicked out. They kicked out of Disney World. They can't be trusted. They're going to be added to the offender list here soon. Listen, um... So, you know, there's this story going around that MIA put out, the rapper, a former Rock Nation artist, um, a former political controversial artist, okay, and rapper and things like that. Um, we, we just going to clear it up. I think we're going to clear it up on TashaKLive.com. Yeah, because I'm seeing all of these, you know, it's propaganda out here. You know, and that's the reason why her ass can't get in the country now. But that's neither here nor there. Y'all just need to be present for TashaKLive.com right after this here live here. Because like I said, we got a family member from Chris Stokes that is directly linked to Chris Stokes, okay? Directly linked. Related to his mama. Seen everything. We got exclusive audio to offer y'all on TashaKLive.com for the small fee of $12. And then you get access to all the other interviews, including the interview that we just dropped with Lindsay Ho Lohan. I'm sorry, it was. <laughs> she did look like Lindsay Lohan. It was Taryn Manning. Shout out to Taryn Manning. She said, thank y'all so much for gracing her, for not dragging her, and for believing her. She read all y'all comments. That interview went live on Wednesday on TashaKLive.com, and I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you do want to see it, I absolutely recommend that you see it, okay? And so shout out to Taryn Manning slash Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> All right, but let me get back. Let me get back on top because Jasmine going to drag me if I'm too long, okay? So we got to be done by at least nine. Okay, now, Bobby uh, Adolf. Don't be doing that, Jasmine. Oh, I forgot. I skipped all over Britney Spears. We'll come back to her. Uh, but I was just so excited to get Bobby Adolph over here. You know what's so funny? We see these plants on social media that have absolutely no talent. And I saw her interview with Sukiana. And I'm like, how many times is Bobby going to stage ignorant, black, dumb, busted ass? Tell them be quiet. I'm I'm live. Sorry, it's my cleaning crew. They ain't here trying to clean me up out of here. I'm like, I got to work now. But what's funny is, is we see them get planted, and she went from a TikTok housewife with her beautiful husband, Corey. He's a nice-looking white man. I don't even think he's always white because that beard too dark. He look good, don't he? got them Asian, chinky eyes. Look like he kind of white and Pacific Island, right? But see, he told her, and I, this is my opinion now, because she started on TikTok as a housewife putting up videos with the badass kids because she ain't had nothing to do all day, and she was a young mom. I mean, she still is a young mom. She's 24 years old. You know, and she f***ed around and got too big. And when you get too big and you got a husband and you get in the bed with limp dick ass Drake... And you want to go home at night and discuss how you go from TikTok to Drake's bed? And you say it's an interview? Then you come back and you got offset dragging. You calling your bologna meat, uncooked chicken meat. He can't fight these nick. He, what do you expect him to do? The man's probably a welder or somewhere during the day. You was not supposed to get bigger than him. And since you love black people so much, why don't you go be with them? So he, he filed for divorce. Yeah. Apparently left her four months ago. Mm -hmm. um, I saw her do an interview with Kiki Palmer. 
Um, I saw her on tour, and then that tour quickly canceled with Funny Marco. Funny Marco has been out here dragging her, and I'm just like, how are you letting your husband and the black community drag you? But she decided to get her one up using Sukiyana's dumb ass, okay? So when she sat Sukiyana down and called her a, a musician, and Sukiyana about for real thought she said magician, Everybody thought it was stage. It could, it couldn't be. But Sukiana told us she rode a short bus. We saw her in London. We saw it. And so guess what? Since she likes to go to London and tell me, I want to get my, she scratch. She decided to scratch her reputation for her Trump followers. Sure do. Because the people that follow Bobby Adolph, they are wide, really wide, wide supporters, and they love laughing at a good brown person. Don't they, Teddy? You brown, too. They like laughing at Teddy. So you know what? Hey, if they like riding that doggy, ride it. But y'all going to pray for Bobby Adolph? Or who finna hit the husband DM? I know somebody in the, I know somebody in the chat right now about to hit the husband DM. I know y'all think y'all, he ain't no bad looking guy. He ain't. Like, he, he shaves, he look clean, he fertile, supportive. He ain't got out here to drag her yet. I hear this DM, I'm looking for an interview. I'm trying to figure out what happened. I think it was that Drake video. Like, how, the, how the hell you go from TikTok? You making TikTok videos in the kitchen cooking. So now you under the sheets with Drake? Drake? <laughs> and his friends is probably laughing at him. You know, he get off work, he go to the bar, have a beer. Man, I saw your wife in bed with Drake. <laughs> Can't make this shit up. Look, I, I'm not surprised that I saw this coming. I wish I would, as a married woman, lay in the bed with Drake. Okay, if I'm a risk it all. We already talked about who I'm a risk it all for. Okay. <laughs> And he saw that the other night. He was like, oh, okay. I said, it ain't nothing like that shit. Nothing like that at all. Don't even do me like that. You just being real secure right now. Anyway, con uh, con I guess congratulations on what's to come. Because this is about to get messy. Welcome to the black community, Bobby Adolph. <laughs> Moving on. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all better get them tour tickets. Tasha K on stage.com. You can go right to Tasha K on stage.com and book your tickets now. Like I said, they intimate. 200 people. Each city at max. We just released Tulsa, Oklahoma, San Francisco, and Baltimore has been added. Amongst other cities like Virginia Beach. Tasha K on stage.com. Speaking of somebody that need to be on stage, I don't understand. Somebody need to give Britney a podcast like they gave Suge Knight one because she is out here spilling. Hello, bitch. You know, I got a lot of tea, Bigfoot. <laughs> she coming for this lady husband. Britney, why do we need to know? While you twirling around, and as you're twirling, your memories are coming back to you when you come to the front? You remember that one time, let's read and see what Brittany had to say. Cool pick of me and that lady's husband and Diane Warren years ago. He's such an amazing actor. Did I fail to mention I made out with that lady's husband that night? I honestly forgot. Damn, that's crazy. Wish I could tell you guys the story. What happened before that? Oh, dear. I'm just being a gossip girl. I know Jennifer Lopez somewhere losing her motherfucking You know that lady can't keep no man. And when she heard about Mark Anthony and Jada Pinkett allegedly, this is this shit doesn't hit the roof. They done bought a 15, no, I think it's more than that. It's like a $25 million house, if I'm not mistaken. Let me Google that house. Someone on Jasmine, can you Google that house for me real quick? They just they, they ain't even closed on the house yet. Yeah, Ben and Jennifer Affleck. So if you if you're wondering who that lady's, who the lady is to the husband, is Jennifer Lopez. You know she can't keep no man. 
and 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 Brittany with the receipts the night she made out with him, but she forgot. I don't know. When you forget, is that a good night or a bad night? I guess it can go both ways, right? Because if you forget and it was a good night, I mean, I had plenty of those nights with my husband, right? I'm $61 million house she just bought with Ben. And Brittany over there conjuring up memories. For what? Trying to shoot her shot? I don't think J-Lo going to let this husband go without a fight this time. Cause she did, I heard she didn't have them hands for Jada at all. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But for Brittany... I think she's going to fight for hers this time. I really do think. So don't be surprised if J-Lo hit him back for real. Don't go to jail fucking with these mental patients. You know, these mental patients is crazy now. I wouldn't even try it. I got my money. I want to know who y'all putting y'all money on. Who y'all putting y'all money on? Brittany or, or, or J-Lo? Who you think got it? Who? Who? Go. Who? Hmm. Who? Let me see the comment. Who? I think the way... Brittany be in that room like, oh, oh, she just back slapped that bitch. I'm telling you. Oh. So I opened up the comments and y'all talking about my, my vampire facial? I don't know, child. I don't care. I'm allowed to have bad skin for one day. Who cares? Anyway. Anyway, moving on. They said they're Britney. They said they got Britney. They say they say the money on Britney. I'm telling you, I put my money on Britney, too. I just will, because Britney just, she in it. She in it. Anybody that dance naked every day in cowboy boots on, on marble floors, I wouldn't play. She got a good grip on them floors. Who you think sing better? Let's talk about this. These damn earrings get on my nerve. Who you think sing better? Br- <laughs> Jasmine said, Ben Affleck, who you think is, the, is a better singer, Britney, J-Lo, or Ben Affleck? Who? Go, go, go. Let me see what y'all talking about in the comments. Let me see what y'all talking about in the comments. Put the comments up. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> okay, y'all said Britney for sure. She got her. But who can sing better? That's what I want to know. Y'all talking about Britney sings better? Damn, Shanti, stop! <laughs> Not y'all talking about a Shanti! No! How she get in this? A Shanti over there living good, man. Her man got fifty million dollars and she gaining weight. <laughs> she said, "I ain't going. I don't need to go to the gym, bitch. I'm done." Y'all said J J Lo sing better than Britney. Now who said that? Y'all can't tell. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. They said Ashanti and Christian Milan. <laughs> How the hell did y'all just added names out? Y'all just really added names. Don't be doing that shit now. Y'all love Ashanti. Listen, somebody, that's J J Lo. Millie Van- uh, J Lo is a real Millie Vanilli. <coughs> y'all crazy. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Speaking of singing, huh? You you know what's so funny? They have been. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie finally, so so say the courts, you know. The courts tell me a lot of things, too, and I'm still in court, okay? Um, so apparently, I thought they had been divorced. I really did. I, I, apparently, they are still going through a divorce. Not only are they going through a divorce, it's been, guess how long it's been? You will not believe this. They have been in court for as long as I've been in court, bitch. You can't make this up. I think both of our cases was filed on the same day. How y'all, the seven years? Oh my God, like for real? Seriously? See, this is why people don't want to get married. It's like this. Seven years it takes for you to divorce somebody. So if he, tomorrow, it doesn't matter power of attorney or not, she's the wife. He hate the bitch. 
But you know, these rich people problems, they fighting over wineries and stuff. So, ooh, it must be, I, it would take a long time fighting over wineries. Real estate, apartment builders, movie companies. See, had he would have stayed with Jennifer. <laughs> Do you think Jennifer would have gave him a hard time? Do you think she would have drug him through court for seven years, being bitter? Only bitter people drive people, drag people through court. Think about that. Do you think, see, this is what happens. See, this is how God be getting y'all back with these side wenches and shit. See, had, had he would have just kept his pissy tail little, little peen in his pants, none of this would be happening. I know Jennifer's sitting back somewhere laughing right now. I'm not, I'm not taking you back into your divorce, brat. I'm not taking you. Because as soon as they had separated, remember, they were seen together behind at the war shows and stuff. They were. And everybody was like, oh, they're going to get back together. But uh-uh, Jennifer said, uh-uh, not until you divorced. Man, it's been, it's going on eight years. <laughs> He probably went to her and said, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I had no idea. And she ain't moved on at all. She doesn't need to. She's still married. And she's going to continue to be married. <laughs> postpone, postpone, postpone. So if he happens to just drop dead, bitch, boom. If I almost drop it. I ain't want to drop my wine. She still got his ass. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I said, see, this is why people don't believe in the institution of marriage. No more. I'm sorry, Brad. But, you know, how you get them is how you lose them. Moving on. All right. Charles, your wine is ready. Take a look at Exhibit A. Because Charles, your lunch is ready. I only could Go back to the original. Go back to the original. <laughs> you can tell they're in Atlanta. Only in Atlanta they 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 darken the hair. Look at look at the root. Look at the didn't shave before at all. He didn't shave. Charles didn't shave because he didn't want his hair bumps to look like Joe's. So <laughs> he said, "I'm not shaving until I get a professional to do this." Joe just said, "Razor, razor bumps, blisters, pus." I'm telling you, I bet you somewhere on Facebook right now is Joe's face, just the bottom part, and they just busting pimples. I guarantee. And I be like that watching them videos with my wine in my bed. I be like, ooh, 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 get it, get it, get the head out. <laughs> Dr. Pimple Popper got me locked and loaded. I'm serious. I'm serious. Matter of fact, you want to get me? I'm telling them videos we having 20, 30 million views on it. We just be sending like, no, 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 no. Go to the side. Move to the side just a little bit. All right, grab it. Grab it. Oh, shit. You lost that bitch. <laughs> That's what Joe's skin is giving. Joe's missing it. Okay. Um, but to see the transformation, look at, let's take a look at Charles one more time before we see what they really about to do. Come on, Charles. Because Charles, your lunch is ready. I only cook for you. Charles, your lunch is ready. They hate me. <laughs> now, you got another video. So they around here. Now, nah, I guess they done blew up. They are social media icons. Hey. Hi, Dr. Shannon here from Gold's Plastic Surgery in Atlanta. Uh, we have Dr. Z here also. We have two amazing people here that we're going to be doing some surgery on. Uh, let me give you a history. We have um, significant weight loss um, that we have to deal with. And when we have weight loss, we have loss of fat. So loss of fat meaning loss of fat from the buttock, from other areas. And so we have to recoup fat in other areas to build a buttock. That's what we intend to do, okay? so. So we're gonna take some fat, probably some tummy fat, and we're gonna build a butt with that, okay? Um, over here, we're going to take tummy fat, we're gonna take um, maybe some chest fat, and we're gonna eliminate it. We don't wanna add anything to the butt. That's just a personal choice. 
And so we do that here at Goals Plastic Surgery as well. So I think we oh, can do oh, a oh, lot oh, of oh, things. Charles said nobody is touching his ass. Keep going, keep going. Um, Dr. Z is going to help with a lot of this uh, procedural uh, portion, and uh, I'll let her say something. Okay, so for this beautiful lady, she had a major uh, weight loss. Uh, 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 hey, uh. Go back just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just, just When she started lying. All right, go. Procedural uh, portion, and uh, I'll let her say something. Okay, so for this beautiful lady, she had a ah, she looks scared. I don't believe you. Did you see it? Uh, uh, okay, this is beautiful. <laughs> hey, I got to touch it. I got the touch. Go ahead, keep going. Go ahead. Okay, so for this beautiful lady, she had a major weight loss. She had a gastric sleeve, right? So she doesn't really have that much fat on uh, her tongue. Uh, Mostly what uh, she has is a lot of loose skin, okay? Paul. However, I'm hoping she... He looked like... <laughs> Joe was in his original form right there when she started grabbing because I thought it was the, <laughs> I thought it was his dick at first. I really did. Cause you see how look at his face. He's like, oh. Go ahead, go ahead, come on. Look how look at her face. Look at her face. She's gonna go. get enough. She's gonna have uh, enough so we can get some of that fat. Uh, for most of that fat, and then uh, we're gonna build her a nice butt. Mm -hmm. Her. All right, guys. So stay tuned to this journey, guys. Are you excited, Miss Netta Charles? Very excited. Awesome. Very excited. I know that took weeks to get that blood work back. Let me. <laughs> I had a test for everything. Listen. Uh, good luck. <laughs> if Roly Poly can do it, so can <laughs> so can Joe. And Charles, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Mark my word. Charles going to get out here and, and he going to act up. Now, I heard they got a little reality show and shit going on. And they going around from different city to city. Charles is, because he ain't going to need Netta when this money come in. I guarantee you, get, I get it five months. Charles going to be outside. <laughs> Charles going to get that extra sketch that Drake got. He's gonna get them BBL scars in the stomach, and Charles gonna go outside. Don't be surprised if he's with Michael, my, uh, uh, Magic Johnson's son. And Joe is gonna be right back at Arby's, busting bumps from the grease that's popping in his face from the fry machine. Moving on. All right, after the break, remember, guys, we're going to take a short break. Y'all stay right here after the break. We got Monique versus everybody, Taraja P, Kiki, Wyatt, uh, the Kardashians. Oh, my God, they just letting the whole town, the paint and the town red, all of that and more coming up right after the break. Then we're going to head over to TashaKLive.com. We got an exclusive audio recording from a family member directly connected to Chris Stokes, okay, that is making some egregious allegations, okay? Whew, Lord Jesus. All I can say is I love and hate my job at the same time, but somebody's got to do it. And I was chosen, all right? We're also going to be talking about singer, uh, rapper M.I.A. over there on the internet line, okay? Because I, I, I did read. I did read. I didn't just go off and believe no, no conspiracy theories just because Jay-Z was connected to it and there were some other billionaires that were white, okay? I'm going to break it down for y'all and much more right after the break. Stay tuned, okay? We got a sponsor, which is us, that we need to brag about, which means boldly raise a glass. So we'll be right back. Let's go! I want the night for me and you So come here baby and let me do it to you So what happened over time was that um, so much rejection So like for every role that you get you also get 50 rejections, right? I had a, like a, a tight group of girlfriends which I'm very proud of that my friends from 13 to about say 35 or 36 like we rolled pretty pretty deep and um they started all talking crap about me one night when i was off doing a movie and they said we just don't get it like how did she make it like she's not even pretty this is a real conversation that they had I've been marginalized in this trailer park 
piece of garbage. And it's like, wow, it's so funny because I've been accepted into Juilliard on a full ride ballet scholarship. I've traveled the world five times. I'm not white trash. Is a, the gold juicy elixir, the atonement, live forever, um, that I could have whatever I wanted. And I said, nothing in my life's come that easy for me. I'm not gonna drink some juice and then suddenly I have everything I've ever wanted. You don't treat people very well all the time on set. You're very cerebral, very different, very hard to like even navigate around. Um, you've been very blessed. Like, what are you doing right now? Are you hiding something? Are you guilty about something? Are you making sure everyone's looking over there so they don't look over here, Terrence? I'll say it to his face, he knows how I feel. I asked him to pay me, I was never paid for that movie. Hustle and flow. All right, winos, if you enjoyed shows like this and would like to see more with me live on stage, then be sure to join me in Naples, Florida, March 3rd at the Off The Hook Comedy Club and March 10th in Atlanta, Georgia at the Uptown Comedy Corner. Tickets on sale right now, link in the description box as well as in the bio. And don't you worry, I'm bringing the wine and Teddy, damn it, okay? See y'all soon, <laughs> I got to get these pit stains from under my arm. That's what happens when you got big titties and you thick. This is that south shit. Oh my God. So listen. Who got their tickets? All right. We on a full tour. We just unveiled Baltimore along with San Francisco, Virginia Beach, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Y'all need to be on Tasha K on stage. Tasha K on stage.com to get y'all tickets. We're pulling up at y'all city, and when we pull up, we're going to have a talent contest. So y'all need to email me at unwindwithtashak at gmail.com if you want to be selected to be a part of the talent contest in your city. You got to be from that city for your chance to win a cash prize in the winos, and Teddy is going to be voting. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I don't want y'all talking about, oh, you got favorites and stuff. I saw you like up picture. No, it ain't got nothing to do with that, okay? I cannot wait to see y'all. All of the dates and links to buy the tickets are on the website, Tasha K on stage.com and Naples, Fort Myers. Where y'all at? That's our first stop. Get them tickets. Let's go. Now, Taraji P. Remember, we still had number to Tasha K live.com right after this. It's what a Terry Manning interview uh, is. We release that on Wednesday, just in case y'all had questions. I'm so happy for Taraji. See, this is what I like to see. This is what I like to see. See, you should have been out here the entire time you was out here crying. Jasmine, where you get this AI picture from? Where did you get this AI-induced deep fake photo of Taraji from? I don't even think that's her. This is not, it's the mouth. No, 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 no. That's heavily photoshopped. I just want to let these photographers mess with my face out here. I like it to look real, okay? That's why I got my little peel going on. It look real. <sighs> I'm so excited for Taraji. Instead of you out here, now the movie Color Purple is in, in the hotel rooms because I just, I just rented it last week when my daughter put me out the house. Yes, and now it's going to be available on Amazon and other places because you, instead of promoting the movie and promoting your book, you wanted to promote that you was broke. And the only way you can undo broke is to use the major platforms to promote your book. But now you're on Instagram doing this. Go! Hey, everybody. Oh, no. I'm not sure if you saw this uh, people, but... The demon coming through. I wanna tour this book. It's called You Can Be a Good Friend No Matter What. And it's available for pre-order as of today. So real quick, let me tell Why is she say I did I didn't do that? Let me tell you, all we'll do is download the videos and we'll upload them here. We did not do that to Taraja P's voice. She has a children's book coming out. Matter of fact, let me get the link right now for she be like, oh, you out here, the interference of a torture, uh, trying to torture a business, and I know I'm not. No, I'm not. The only person that's torturing businesses is you around here. So your ass came out to my, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have spoke about, you know, the fair, unfair pay and them making me drive myself to work every day like everybody else in the world do. I shouldn't have to drive myself to work even though you live better than 80% of the population. So we don't understand what it's, what it's like to not have to drive yourself to work unless you're on a city bus. 
And so she has a children's book that's called, because I need y'all to support, okay? It's called, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, you can be a friend no matter what. Helps kids and parents. Keep an eye on my socials in the coming weeks for this exciting book-related things. The book goes on sale June 18th. You can pre-order your copy now from your favorite retailer by clicking the link in my bio. So click the link in her bio to get this damn book so she'll just shut up and act. Shit. I'll come tell Jody to put your ass in place. I'm just trying to understand this. Like, how you get a major platform like that? And instead you get out there and you cry on the stroll instead of really promoting yourself. This is all I ever wanted her to do. That's it. Girl, you ain't got no money, get your money. Use these platforms, you on television everywhere. You sitting on everybody podcast, you and everybody commercial. Push your own stuff. You're an entrepreneur. Push it. Acting is not the end all be all. You playing old lady roles the same way Neil Long playing them. You eventually have to grow up. Yeah. I'm like, now, now the world ain't watching. Now I got to help push the book for you, which I'm going to buy it for my son. Shit. Congratulations. Keep it just like this. And y'all go watch The Color Purple On Demand. <laughs> Let's go. It was a good movie, though. It was really good. I didn't think it was going to be that great for a musical book. They did good. You know, it doesn't outdo the first. It's, the first one is always a classic. It's not going to make you say, oh, you know what? They messed it up. It ain't got nothing to do with that. It's more so a celebration. Speaking of celebration, we are celebrating that Kiki Palmer has returned. Kiki, Kiki Wyatt. Sorry. Kiki Wyatt has returned home. Home. Now, before she went, when no man has gone before and did this, she went where K. Michelle went. See, uh, mm. And came back the same way Kate Michelle came back. There's a lot of people undoing, undoing this oil that they got back there. <clears throat> now, Kiki knows she had no business with about 15 children having a BBL. The fat, the, you can't even control the fat deposits when you got more than four kids. Unless you just naturally skinny. You can't do that. You have God is in full control. And when she decided to move that belly fat to her ass and still continue to get pregnant on top of it, I knew she was going to go back to this. I knew she was going to take her ass to Columbia and get it out. Little booties matter. Okay? Now, she did it for a reason. There's always a reason behind what we're doing here, okay? There's an intention. I think she looks amazing. So Kiki has been listening to us. So she listened to us, and she went and let them Colombians undo that bullshit that she had back there. She looks so much better. She's now on her Ozank pick, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? And she said she's done having children. She got enough kids to fill her children's ministry at her church that she started. And she couldn't be no pastor of a church with a BBL, unlike how Jamal Bryant like him around here. So... Jamal Bryant said, if you are going to speak before God, God need to see that ass. Those are Jamal's rules, not mine, okay? Shout out to New Birth. Now, Kiki Y has decided to start a church, and uh, she says she is sick and tired of y'all complaining about her singing the same songs at the picnics and at the festivals and things like that, the, the, the singing at the parks and stuff. And so she's now going to be dedicating her whole life and her family to the church, and she is now going to be singing church songs. And I'm going to be honest with you. I would go. You know, as a pastor, she's going to be preaching and singing? Oh, you know Kiki finna show out. You know she finna show out. And she's going to have all her kids in the choir. Go, kids, Go! I'm done. It's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. I, I said, oh, she on to something here. She got that 501c3. Going to take y'all donations. The kids going to work at the church, and she going to sing and preach at the same damn time. And watch your husband. 
<laughs> Kiki keep a husband. I don't see how I was like, people talking about this, you can't find no man because you got all them children and your body bad and stuff. Like, Kiki said, who? Where they do that? Where they do that? Light-skinned women deserve to be married and deserve to have kids in wedlock. Where they do that at? I said, go, Kiki, go. Yes, I'll be there. Mm-hmm, mm. Because mm. I know she's going to sing her ass down. She's going to sing the whole sermon. All right, moving on. Now, this is messy. Now, the other day, the Neighborhood Talk, shout out to Kyle. Y'all need to follow the Neighborhood Talk if you don't. I'm sure most of y'all do. But if you're on Instagram, follow them. Unveiled an exclusive story that I quickly followed up on. So I had to call my little people in Hollywood. And they was like, Tasha, when are you coming to Hollywood? Are you coming to the Grammys? What am I going to do at the damn Grammys? Tell me right now. What am I going to do? Besides eat they free food. What am I going to do? Hmm? Okay. So, um, apparently Kim Kardashian, Kardashian, is, <sighs> she said, fuck the family. Now, I thought she was done with niggas, but apparently not, okay? Um, somebody got to an answer for them shirts. She cannot be out with a white man in public with five to six black children, okay? They're going to be asking the white man, so you just adopting black kids with a... <laughs> Ain't no white man in their right mind crazy or nothing to that shit. Yeah, these are my kids. <laughs> How? <laughs> How? So, apparently she's uh, not only in a serious relationship with her sister's ex, Odell Beckman. Beckham. Uh, you know I be messing up their names. You know what I mean here. Now, the interesting part about this is that Odell was caught filling up on Chloe back in 2016. Back when she had that giraffe jumbotron ass, okay? She, before she went and got her husband removed. Because I, I was just like, when I saw that, that thing, she was shaped just like a damn giraffe. Real tall, real golden, hair down, polka dots on. Matter of fact, she had on like a leopard suit. And her ass was sitting with polka dots on just like how the giraffe's ass be sitting. I said, what the hell? Pushing a stroller. Now, so he was filling up on her. Now, I guess they've been thinking about going public, but Taylor Swift ruined her publicity stunt that she was trying to create, because you know Kim got to be the center of attention, and there's been nothing that's really been going on with her, and so she really wanted this announcement to be big, but instead Travis Kelsey showed up with Taylor Swift, and that took all of the publicity away, because it's like, you know, a singer or a star dating an athlete, okay? And so this was supposed to be a big rollout. You know how they do. You know, it's got to be marketing behind it. They got to push it. They got to strategize. They got to do a squat analysis. But they had not enough time to figure out why, what they were going to tell the public before the public got to it, and why Chloe's jumble drawn giraffe ass was sitting in between the legs of Odell Beckman, her sister's long uh, one-year-plus boyfriend now, okay? Now, get this. Ob Odell is apparently trifling as well. Not only is he trifling, word on the street is, is that he tried to set up a threesome with Kylie and Kendall. Now, I don't know if Kim just need a man because she got four kids. But I really want to ask, where in the hell do they do that at? Odell said, why have one and you can have them all? Why do I have to pick and choose? So we'll be watching this to see if she actually comes out with him. I don't think she's going to be able to make no money off this one. This one is not the one, okay? You're going to go to the mental house before he do. <laughs> All he's going to do is slide over and hit your sister next door. All right. Nick Cannon has a new show. This man got about 35 shows. Who, who you think got more talk shows than Nick Cannon? Who always coming out here with a talk show and it don't go nowhere? Um, Piss, Pissy Lee. Pissy Lee. Anybody know who Pissy Lee is? Let me see the comments. Pissy Lee. Who is Pissy Lee? 
Somebody tell me who Pissy Lee is. <laughs> Please. Somebody tell me. Hmm? That man been on every network, including his own, and his own don't even want him. So he got a new show out, and he decided to roll out with Ayanya Van Jans as his first guest. Makes sense, okay? Um, and he, the talk show, I guess, is for him. He ain't liking the way y'all dragging him. I gave him props during the last show, so I don't even know why he feel like he desperately needs to sell himself to us and to the black culture. We get it, man. We get it. You know, they give you the money, and you get a light-skinned, mediocre wife. But in your case, a few of them. Go. I get a lot of flack and ridicule for being a successful black man who's currently not uh, in a monogamous relationship with a black woman. And what that example is for not only my own children, but even, you know, people who look up to me or they're, they're trying to lead by example because, you know, even as a lot, I get quite often, I see it in the comments of like, you can't be uh, pro-black in the streets and white machine. Maybe that's not your sole contract mm. to marry a black woman, but to take care of the black community. I want to encourage us, invite us in this day and age to stop, to really reconsider the kind of chains that we place on each other. Mm. We don't call it enslavement. Mm. A, and a, your opinion of me is a chain around my neck. Mm. Mm. Now, you know, she recently came out and shared her views and said that she believes in polygamy, okay? She said there's a lot of men here whose sole contract is to be in contracts with multiple women. And at her time and age and her not being able to use her coochie, she said, let them fuck. Let them fuck. Let them fuck. I just think it's funny. Why, why, do you, why do you have to do an interview? Now, I hope this interview ain't all about you, Nick, okay? Because you're trying to justify stem cell research here. Listen. <laughs> we know why, okay? And you do, got, you do got a black baby mama. What's her name? Lakeisha? What's her name? Lashika? What's that girl name? Latoya? Latrina? He don't forgot the black baby name. He ain't... Nick, why do you need validation? And why do you have the black? Why do you have? What's she going to do about it? Lanisha, what is Ayana going to do about you and your? What's she going to do about it? You know damn well why you in, in soul contracts with them light skinned women. Mediocre. And you got one with one black woman to shut us up. We don't care. Shit. It ain't ours. All that fucking coochie you around here doing podcasts on. Some of it stank. Some of it, y'all. And it's like, really? At least we know. Hold on. 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 Put the comments up. Oh, I love it when I get a word. I need to be at Kiki Palmer Church. I love it when I get a Kiki Wyatt. I love it when I get a word. I love it. Now, you know he came out here some I don't know if it was like last year. And see, you got to really listen to folk around here. And I don't know why I didn't catch on this a long time ago. But when he came out here and said that there are a lot of women that he knows personally whose pussies stink. Y'all remember that? Black women, do you remember when he got his ass up on the podcast and said that some women around here don't wash? Do y'all remember that? No, I ain't letting it go. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. And so when you come out here saying you're getting slammed by the black community, because you won't date us or procreate. You don't need us. You got all the biracial stinking pussy that is the alpha. Leave us out of it. And I said, like I said, I seen it. I seen the thing. I seen the myths 
wrestle on him. Mm-hmm. It wasn't us. And, and what's her name? Lanisha. Lanisha Nicole said it wasn't her either. <laughs> so out of all the baby mamas he got, which one was it? Because there's a few that he with all the time, and there's a, there's a few he don't even post with. So we kind of can figure out, if we do the math, which ones cat stink and which ones don't. Moving on. Moving on. All right, now, as we come to the last topic here, it's going to get a little intense, okay? Remember, right after this show, because I'm right on time, 838, all right, we're going to start around 9.15, 9.30. We're going to head over to TashaKLive.com. We got an exclusive recording with a family member that's really close to Chris Stokes, gave us a lot of tea. I ain't never use that word T, but the way Nikki used that shit, listen here, Bigfoot. I got a lot of tea. <laughs> it's wine. Wine is the new tea, okay? Definitely gonna be dropping that exclusive recording on TashaKLive.com. Gonna be discussing the Jay-Z allegations with MIA. Also gonna be talking about uh, Megan Thee Stallion and much, much more coming up on TashaKLive.com. And also, we did release the Taryn Man an interview on Wednesday as well, okay? And you guys are loving it. I'm in the comments. Taryn's in the comments as well. She's loving it. And so all that more on TashaKLive.com right after this video. So you do have to subscribe via TashaKLive.com, okay? Also, do not forget to get your tickets, okay? We are now officially on tour. I'm so excited. This is something I've been praying for for about a year and a half. And I had to move some things around and move some people out to make it happen. Look at Jasmine in the back there to my And so finally, we finally got our prayers answered and we are now, you know what's so exciting is that I was looking at the Baltimore link today and I was on the Baltimore uh, uh, website. I think it's the Baltimore, what is it called? Hold on for a second. Let me, let me, let me make sure I get it right because the tickets just went on sale for Baltimore. The Baltimore Comedy Factory, okay? So our ticket link is up. And when I looked at the calendar, let me tell you something, because I came a long way from the kitchen, doing videos in the kitchen of Caesars 52, to my bedroom, to now, I'm getting on stage right after Sherry Shepard. Don't play with me. <laughs> when I look at the calendar and I'm like, Oh my God, so like Sherry Shepard is Friday and Saturday, and then Tasha K is Sunday, and I'm like, I don't care where I start, I just want a foot in the dough, okay? Yes, I do. So I'm so excited, and God is just so good, and y'all made that happen, because there's a lot of people that's doing this out here, and y'all don't show up. I see them canceling shows and shit. But that's between them and God, you know what I'm saying? So I know what my soul contract is, and I'm making sure that I fulfill it, and this is something that I've been wanting to do my entire life. And for me to be able to get it out the mud, and it wasn't given to me, I had to work for it. They tried to take it from me and didn't succeed. I'm like, oh, my God. I love it. That's just so funny because when Jasmine saw me on stage, she was scared, right? The first time we had did like an on stage event, she was like, you sure you want to do this? I said, Jasmine, shut the fuck up. Shut the And she, she finally saw when we was done with the show, she was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, this is like, you, this is really like your calling. Like, <laughs> Yeah, it sort of kind of is, you know, and it's about them numbers, it's about being on stage. Put me on stage with anybody. But it don't matter. Anybody that has the courage to do what they love to do, I wish them nothing but the best, okay? Their journey ain't got nothing to do with my journey and our journey as winos and creating these experiences. And it's not comedy, because a lot of people was asking, is it comedy? No. It's wine, gossip, and comedy. <laughs> now, 
Yeah, let's go ahead and get into these damn comedians. I just wish they would just shut up and make their money. Uh, uh, Monique. Monique. Uh, look, give me Monique. Get, get the Monique and Cat Williams, okay? Monique and Cat. All right, so. Y'all are not probably going to like my take on this, but I don't give a damn, okay? It is what it is. Now, I personally met Monique, and the first thing Monique said to me when she met me, because she knew the direction that I was going in, she said, you make sure you look out for another sister. Baby girl, you do that. And you know what I said? I said, yes, ma'am. Regardless of the black community not letting me in professionally, and I had to go through the back door of white stations to get my training to come out here and sell it to black people and entertain black people. And I put my black people on despite them dragging me down when they get their little money. That's cool. Ain't got to do with me. What you do is what you do. Hope you can sustain it. That's all I'm going to say, right? And that's really no shade, okay? Everybody's in everybody's life for a reason. You can't control how people react when you give yourself, and that's why it's very important that you choose wisely who you give yourself and your time to. And those were my lessons. And so shout out to Monique for saying that. But I want to ask Monique this, okay? Because see, back then I was young. I was like 30 years old, 42 now, about to be 42 on March 10th. <laughs> yes, okay? I haven't seen Monique put nobody on. Monique been out here screaming for years about being a legend, being old this and old that, and I deserve this. I have yet to see her put anybody on. And you wonder why it took years. And people are still really not even with her after this whole shindig she did a repeat that we've heard before on Club Shay Shay. Who has Monique put on? Because she didn't put me on. She didn't put me on. Mm -mm. Not at all. Let's, let's just ask, who? Because in this, it, see, she's calling out an entire community for not giving her this, not giving her that, but you got to give to receive. Nobody owes you anything. And I'm going to tell you how I'm going to tie this in. That, that, that damn interview that she did with Club Shay Shay, shout out to Shay Shay. Shout out to him. He, got that, he don't like me, but he liked the mess. I looked out the other day, I said, she don't shut it, but uh, the block me? Was it about the boyfriend news? I just, I, <laughs> listen, 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 listen. I talked to the alleged boyfriend of Shannon, okay? Uh, uh, Club Shay Shay. I'm just repeating what I was told. So he blocked me because of that. Hey, I have a job to do. Just like you have a job to do, and he's doing an amazing job. He's going to get a massive podcast contract, and I wish him the absolute best, okay? This is no shade. I want to see that man make it, whether he likes me or not, because it don't make or break me one bit, okay? Now, and it's aspiring to see them leave corporate, uh, corporate media and come out here and really do it on their own. You know, I like that. I really love that. That's what I like to see. Now, back on this interview, first of all, Monique's interview would have went absolutely nowhere had it would have not been for Kat. And so it just kind of reopened the door for her to come through and regurgitate the same information that we heard before years prior when her husband was on the internet crying about they ain't got no money, but he refused to get a job. Let's hear the recording between her and Tyler Perry, okay? And watch him gaslight her. This wasn't nothing but, a, this wasn't nothing but an official. <laughs> I got you. Listen, can you borrow $20? Go ahead and listen to it. Right, we'll, we'll come right back. Come on, come on, come on, Tyler. Let's that, go. That's from you in all of this. And I don't want you to feel that. I mean, especially for me. I can't speak for anybody else. But for me, I, I'm not anyone that wants to hurt or offend anybody, especially you. I think you are brilliantly talented. I think you should have a lot more happening than you won that award. I thought for sure that if you had campaigned and wanted and played by their rules, what would have happened is in the next deal, you would have got more money, billions of dollars, 
Did he say billions of dollars? Did he say billions of dollars and Monique don't own a production company? She don't own a casting agency. She don't even own her tour. She on somebody else's tour right now. Did he say billions of dollars for Precious? Let's go. By their rule, what would have happened is in the next deal, you would have gotten more money, billions of dollars, and your career in the film would have been much different. I believe that much in your talent. So, so in, in saying all of that, in saying all of that, I just, I just say it's just, it's just heartbreaking because I don't ever want you to think that I'm not black, trying to blackball, I say anything. But please give me what I say. This. I'm not trying to hurt you. I will never try to hurt you. If Monique asked Lionsgate for a favor and they told her no, and they ask it, she's asking for a favor that is not contractual, not something that they're contractually obligated to do, and they told her no. But then she went and told the world how difficult that they were. Do you think that that would be fair or unfair? No, that's not fair. It's not fair. No, so, so, so the question, so pardon, pardon me. So the question I would ask of you, good sir, because I appreciate you being honest enough to answer that with a relative quickness. I really do. So the question that I would ask you is this. If we should do unto others as we would have them do unto ourselves, the question I would ask is, how do you sit back or how would you feel if someone said about you that you were difficult to work with because you didn't want to perform for them a function that you were not contractually able or obligated to do? How would you feel about that? Well, as I said, that's not fair. If I bring a movie, if I bring a movie to, for Monique over there, I'm gonna have to say it. I'm gonna have to defend it. I'm gonna have to fight it. Well, it's easy. It. It's easy because all you would be doing is telling the truth. You are six foot six black man. Come okay? on, Mo. You, you, you. I ain't got, listen, I ain't got no problem, man. I ain't got no problem. Trust me when I tell you, I ain't got no problem. Well, that's why we saying then. Then say it now. Say it now. Say it now. I'm black and I'm proud. Come on. James Brown is counting. I'm saying it now. I'm gonna, I'm, I will let all of this fool off when I get back out on the track. Now, we can go ahead and pause it. Okay, this audio is old. She played this years ago when she was out campaigning saying what people didn't want to believe at the time. Now, Monique has always been out here campaigning for black actresses and things because it directly benefits her. She's not doing it because another woman came and said they ain't paying me. She's doing it because it directly affects her. Some more out here ain't crying. Some more is on tour every weekend getting her bag. We actually laugh at some more's jokes when they're on Netflix. And she has more than one on Netflix. Some more has her own touring company and she films and records her own Netflix specials and sells them to Netflix. You got a whole husband that you call daddy who hasn't started anything? Why can't Monique sell her own shit? Why is she just legend, 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 legend? But these reviews that she had on her latest Netflix special that they settled and gave her, which was smart from the CEO of Netflix, because they were being sued. And they said, you know what, 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 what just give her what she wants. Give her what she want. Let's not act like it ain't a black woman running Netflix. Because she married to the, to the CEO, the white man. She running that. So I da Dave Chappelle able to say what he got to say. But when you look at the reviews from the Legends Netflix special, Monique, 
after all of this hooting and hollering that you worth this and worth that, but decided to sit on your ass with your husband all these years and you wasn't in the kitchen cooking, just eating outside. That's why you ain't lost no weight. This ain't got nothing to do with her beef with D.L. Hughley. This ain't got nothing to do with just her in the victim mentality. These reviews, one star. She, had, she made a whole Netflix special to say, Fuck you, motherfucker, fuck, 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 fuck you. Oh, 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 and by the way, I like coochie. It was absolutely deplorable. All this time you've been around here saying I'm worth this and worth that. And we live, especially as creatives that's really out here doing it, opportunity meets preparation, but you weren't preparing. You was out here living off EBT and food stamps, begging for somebody to give you something instead of just taking another way in. But no, I'm blackballed. Some more wasn't let into Hollywood, but is she blackballed? Some more making millions of dollars a year. Go ask her. Oh, you can't. She working. She working. And remember, Samore was on tour. Remember the Queens of Comedy? You hear her out here talking about unfair treatment and all this hell? You don't hear that. But what we do see, and Netflix now has numbers to say that you don't sell. And that's the reason why Cat Williams has to put you on his tour and you're a legend. And we all know why Kat doing it anyway. It shots to Kevin Hart. That's it. That's it. And you're going to get on that tour and do all that cussing, who and hollering with no substance to my daddy. Daddy, I want to lick cats. But in the same breath, you kept... Now, now, this is the funny part. Now, when I saw her give props to T.S. Madison, to my old she out here standing up for black women. That's a black woman right there. I said, hey, this the same woman that kept Flame Monroe from getting a job as a trans woman? Because Flame was funnier than you? You blocked the bag. The interviews are out there. Said you didn't want to work with Flame on the radio because you didn't agree with Flame's lifestyle. Meanwhile, you were a closeted gay. You was in the closet the whole time. Whole time, come out here. Some of the reason you call, that's not, now we, now we see why you call him daddy, because he's truly your daddy. You're a beard for that nigga. Don't play with me. And now the legend. Instead of putting together your own tour like some more, like Sherry Shepard, like these women that are getting out here getting it, regardless of low pay, they're going to create revenue streams of their own. Now you want to say, oh, I'm going on tour with Cat Williams, who has a perfectly funny tour and is adding very mediocre, unfunny women to his tour just to get back at who? This nigga ain't even funny. Are you serious? Like, come. You know who we're laughing at? You know who we're laughing at? Because I'm telling you, the reviews are going to come in. You've been out the game for so long, so bitter, regurgitating the same information. And yeah, that shot to Tiffany Haddish was heavy. I like that. I said, Mousley, that's, that's it. But it still wasn't funny. It still wasn't funny. She said the same thing everybody else been saying. Your husband can get up and get a job too. But he don't work unless you work. Because you are the man in your family, and you clearly told us that during your last awful Netflix special. Everyone that's posting her right now, I'm looking at famous comedians saying, well, she's going on tour. 
But I was on the phone with them saying, oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> So fake out here. This is why I can't fool y'all. Y'all so fake. I can't. It's like y'all will just push somebody up just to see them fail. And everybody knows Monique hasn't been funny for a really long time because she's been out the game. Now, yeah, we got beefs with each other out here. That's fine. But I just want to ask you one last question. If you were so funny. And if you were so a legend and you deserved all this, why hasn't Netflix added you after they just settled with you and gave you one of, gave you a Netflix special, gave you all the promotion only for it to fail and flop? Why haven't they added you to the Netflix is a joke? You can go to Netflix is a joke right now. Flame Monroe is there. Flame Monroe is there. Mm-hmm. But you're not, legend. And this is a company that you sued. I'm just tired. I'm just sick and tired of all of this sh <laughs> He's doing this to me, he's doing this to me. Girl, get your ass on stage and cook. You already big, so I know you can eat. Cook! Cat Williams ain't gonna help your career? Cause let me tell you something, that, that tour is so funny. And if you been to Cat Williams tour, you been to one of his shows, I was at the one at the Hard Rock uh, Casino here last year, I had to leave because it was so funny. He had so, such young talent and old talent there that I don't know where the hell she gonna fit in saying fuck her every other word. And Tory Hart is just collateral damage. It sells tickets. Why not? <laughs> Why not? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. But I guarantee you, we're going to look back on this next year, and y'all going to be like, oh, Tasha, you, you know, you hate right now. Da, da, da. No, I'm not. I'm telling you. I'm going to watch how this is going to play out. She's going to be back in front of them old cabinets, still ain't took any of the money to renovate her house, and going to be out here talking about, pay me what I'm worth. Pay me what I'm worth. Go to work. Go to work. And I ask you, who has Monique put on? Besides that strap on, on that nigga. Thank y'all so much for watching. <laughs> I was like, oh, she really irritated me too when she came out here with that T.S. Madison. So she, she advocate for black women. You know why her first channel is down, right? Do you know why they took that content down over there on T.S. Madison first channel? Because she was dragging the hell out of black women. <laughs> and remember, you didn't even like the trans girls. Because you were secretly wanting them. Or maybe your daddy did. Anyway, put up the comments. I know y'all irritated, and I don't care. I, I really don't care. I really don't care. Because, see, we've been here before. How many times have I said something, and they be dragging me, and they only come back and be like, damn, she was right. Why am I hating? What's, what's hating about this? Why am I hating? I'm on my own tour. Why, what, am, what do I have to hate about? I don't need to join anybody else's tour, even though I've been offered to join other tours. What am I hating about? And I'm not cool with DL, okay? Until he apologized to that, 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 that mistress and that baby that he prayed <laughs> that wouldn't make it and didn't, that ain't got nothing to do with me. I am totally speaking for myself. What am I hating on? Countess Vaughn? What? <laughs> I said, who has Monique put on? And where they at? Where they at? Nobody's Kaya. What are you talking about? Who's Kaya is a legend. Are you serious? Why, why do y'all do that? Why do y'all be like, oh my God, you're just trying to be, I'm Tasha K. I get up here and I go to work. I don't beg for nothing. I don't cry when they don't give me nothing because I go get it if I want it. Don't play with me. But this woman been out here seven years crying. You know who I agree with? Day 
Chappelle. There's plenty of white comedians to drag. Why you ain't dragging none of them? Why? Y'all just get upset when I don't stand on the side y'all want me to stand. That's not why I that's not why I have a platform. It has never been like that. I have my own mind, and I feel that Monique, instead of crying all those years and recording people and wondering why nobody want to put her on, you're an actress and you're recording people and you still recording Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry's still getting money, even though they're going to take that the same way they took it from Bill Cosby. Stop playing. Listen. They said Monique is A-list. <laughs> Listen. We're going to head over to TashaKLive.com. We got some exclusive wine on Chris Stokes from a family member coming from the horse's mouth, okay? There's a lot of stuff that's being said that is just going to make y'all go, <gasps> okay? We're also going to discuss Megan Thee Stallion along with MIA and this whole Jay-Z shenanigans shit. I'm just like, listen, listen, listen. I read. Just like I read those reviews on, on Monique's last stand-up that y'all wrote. <laughs> a review on that damn stand-up. Y'all did. I didn't. This is the first time I spoke about it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See if y'all buy a ticket for it and see what y'all got to say about her being on this tour. They still ain't let her on. Netflix is a joke. She's such an icon or a legend. Listen, you got to move tickets. It's about them. It's about them numbers. It's about them numbers. And Cat Williams been blackballed, but he's still out here on his grind. Now, Thank y'all so much for watching. Please, guys, do not forget to get your tickets to my tour, Tasha K on stage. I don't care if 10 people show up or 200 people show up. You are still going to get a fantastic show, and we're still going to keep trying and keep going, and we're not going to cry when it's not given to us. We're just going to take it, okay? We got a slew of cities that we have tickets on sale for that are selling out. You can buy the tickets, TashaKOnStage.com. Please do not forget that we need talent from the cities, okay? We're having a talent contest in your city, and if you want to be a part of the talent contest, please feel free to email me, unwindwithtashak at gmail.com. We will select you, and if you win, the winos, as well as Teddy is judging you, you will win a cash prize in your city, okay? Naples, Florida, I'm going to see y'all on March 3rd. Atlanta, March 10th. I forgot who after that. I think it's probably Baltimore, okay? Baltimore coming up next and so on and so on, and we're going to end the tour in Houston. So stay tuned for those Houston ticket sales. They will be on sale in the next two weeks, okay? And so that is the big show. It's a whole weekend. Y'all get to come out dressed as y'all favorite celebrity. Hell, you can come out dressed as me and cuss my ass. I don't care, all right? And so thank y'all so much for watching. Again, we're about to head over to TashaKLive.com for this exclusive recording from a Chris Stokes family member. And, uh, yeah, if you want to advertise, please feel free to hit us on, what did I do? What is this? the link below? Ads at TashaKLive.com. I need some water. And, hell, if you didn't like this video, you can still subscribe anyway. Just so you can cut my ass out. Not that I really give a damn anyway. Now I got to go say bye, Teddy. Bye.